In the previous video of molecular biology, we discussed about the lysosomal protein transport. Now today we will be discussing about the mechanism of vesicle docking. In this process, we will see how the vesicles dock to the target membranes and deliver their cargo. Before getting to the docking mechanism, first of all, we will see the proteins involved in the vesicle docking process. The first important protein is the snare protein. That's acronym for Soluble NSF Attachment Receptor Protein, S-N-A-R-E. SNARE has two entities. One is soluble NSF receptor protein and other being the NSF protein, which will get attached to the receptor SNAP protein. And we will get fully functional SNARE protein. SNAP, that's the receptor protein plus NSF protein that acts as a dissociation protein at the end of this mechanism. And the NSF stands for an ethylmalamide sensitive fusion protein. This NSF is basically the ATPase protein that's involved in the association and dissociation of two snare proteins. Mostly we see this is involved more in dissociation than association of snare proteins. Then we see these snare proteins are categorized into two classes T snare and V snare. T snare as the prefix letter suggests that it is the snare protein present on target membrane. And this T snare will interact with membrane snare proteins, which we will see later on how these interactions occur. While as on the other side we have V snare, which is the snare protein present on the vesicle during transport. It is this V snare protein that will interact with T snare and there will be formation of complex proteins. Then we have second major protein involved in docking process. It is the Rab GTPase. This molecule helps in recognition of target membrane. That means it must be present on vesicles as it will guide the vesicles wire to dock and wire not to dock. And last major protein involved during docking process is the Rab effector protein. This molecule helps in tethering the vesicle to the membrane. So these are the proteins that are involved during the docking process. Now let's see in detail what is the mechanism behind vesicle docking. In the mechanism of physical docking, first of all, let's see the proteins that are present on the target membrane. This target membrane is the site where the vesicle will get docked. We see it has got Rab effector protein as you can see in this diagram. And it is this protein which will aid in the process of tethering the vesicle towards the membrane. And finally, we have major protein present on target membrane in the form of snare protein called T-snare. That's target membrane snare. Now let's have a look at the vesicle which is going to get docked to the target membrane. On the membrane of vesicle, we see it has got a molecule of Rab GTP. And it also has a snare protein in the form of V snare. All is good now. Let's begin the mechanism process. In the very first step, the RAB GTPase or we can say Rab GTPase molecule which acts as a recognition molecule interacts with Rab effector of target membrane. And this Rab effector being a tethering protein will tether the vesicle towards the membrane. So this is how the tethering occurs with the interaction of Rab molecules between target membrane and vesicle. In the tethering process, you can see the two snare proteins present on target membrane and vesicle comes into close proximity. And the interaction between these snare protein occurs. And with this interaction, there is a formation of trans snare complex, as you can see in this diagram. And this leads to the docking of vesicle to the target membrane. And after that, the GTP molecule of Rab protein hydrolyzes its GTP into GDP, thereby locking the vesicle onto the target membrane and releasing Rab GDP into cytosol. Remember, it's the bound GTP of Rab protein that's involved here. And this concludes our fusion of vesicle to the target membrane. But you can see the two snare proteins have formed here in the form of cis-trans complex and these snare proteins need to get separated from each other. And this is done by NSF protein that are present in the snare protein itself. You know the snare is made up of two proteins, NSF and NSF receptor, what we called as soluble NSF attachment receptor protein. So to initiate the dissociation of T-snare and V-snare, the NSF being the ATPase molecule hydrolyzes ATP to release the complex so that snare proteins are recycled back. So this is how the snare proteins aid in the docking process and help in the fusion of vesicle towards the membrane. This is all about vesicle docking and fusion. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.